it's physically impossible to work outside continuously when temperatures cross 40 degrees and these are people who depend on daily wages to survive and for their families to survive climate data and climate intelligence is useful at every level and strata of society from risk for you know multi-billion dollar hedge fund right down to a daily wage even the supreme court is now talking about climate we are already in terms of a lot of renewable goals forerunners and leaders in the world i think internally we will now have very strict guidelines that come from top down and will be enforced welcome to bharat climate startups aaj hum aa gaye hain bangalore karnataka mein milne hamare is bharat climate startup and we say hyper local apis climate heat map or historical climate data sets ye bharat climate startup bana raha hai bharat ko climate intelligent with their proprietary data aaj ki bharat climate startup story aap tak pahunchai gayi in collaboration with wingify foundation to be quite honest Let's today figure out कैसे इंटेलिजेंट डेटा इंडिया को और इनफैक्ट पूरी वर्ल्ड को क्लाइमेट इंटेलिजेंट बना सकता है hyperlocal temperatures weather parameters like humidity air pollution and pollen we also predict wildfires natural disasters and other things that affect people and corporations across the world so they are making you data intelligent or should i say environmentally intelligent with data so actually why ambi like and what is the problem statement that you are today targeting with ambi well a few years ago now about 6 years ago my co-founder madi who you meet soon his son fell really ill and no one had any idea what was going on uh he would wake up choking every morning and then we thought maybe it's the air because he was choking mm-hmm. we realized there was no data on what was going on and how to diagnose it right. so madi built the first uh data system to figure out that his son was actually breathing really polluted air mm-hmm. and this was hyper local so bangalore where we live is really right. clean but for some reason his apartment block and his neighborhood was super dirty we realized that this data should be available to everyone across any sort of income any sort of geography and india being hyper connected in terms of having availability of data and access to information was an ideal place where we could start doing this so we built this so that everyone on some democratized level has access to climate data and can make better decisions whether you are an individual who's looking for a safer cleaner place to live for with your children or your business that's looking to leverage climate for better outcomes is today as an individual and be around me like for example for someone living in bangalore or delhi or any part of the country am i or have i ever been in touch with ambi or ambi's data systems absolutely so we also have a consumer app that's on you know the play store and apple so uh where you get the same information that a corporation would get from us the same level of accuracy it's absolutely free we work with researchers again a lot of ngos and researchers we give free data to because it benefits people in some way We have worked with administrations in the past. Uh if you ever see an ad and you see an ad for free, right? If you ever see an ad that involves anything from pollen to air quality, uh for example a pharma ad that tells you what uh drug to buy or what uh antihistamine to buy. Right. That's probably come from us. So we we have a pretty good name recognition in what we do across the world. We have customers you know in the US and EU everywhere. uh we're starting to predict wildfires and natural disasters as well so we're running pilots for that in the us uh we want to be able to inform anyone of a climate outcome before it happens and that means the ability for them to take action so if there's a wildfire maybe you evacuate maybe you're safer than you were without this data if it's air pollution maybe you and your government can work together to make it better these are the data points in the intelligence that really make a difference it could be something as uh low key as supply chain management it could be something as ambitious as government policy but all of these affect us on a daily basis we just met one of the co-founders of ampi and now it's the time to meet the second person as akshay calls him maddy or madhusudan 
Sudan. Hi, I'm Madhu Sudan. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Ambi. And uh, I'll, I want to give you all a little bit of insights on floods. Did you, you know it's a known thing that 30% of Mumbai will be underwater because of seawater rising. But there's also a lot of floods because of from rain, mm. because of urbanization, because of overflowing of lakes. Right. And uh, also there is, uh, apart from urban flooding, mm. there's also flooding due to rain you know, sudden cloud bursts. So they are all critical uh, natural hazards that affect the planet, affect right. people living. And for, for uh, disaster recovery teams, uh, for people to be able to understand what's happening with flood, where, what kind of flood risk can they expect, where the location is, there isn't any data. Today, is there a way you can know whether, you know, your neighborhood is under flood risk or not? You know, apart from looking at it, asking with a couple of people, there isn't data. Uh, hi, I'm Abhilash. I'm uh, handling the products at Ambi. So, uh, this is the global climate map and uh, we have the data sets like for uh, all across the world for air quality, pollen and uh, wildfires. So, uh, we have also the natural disaster risk index. So, uh, you can see here this entire map uh, where you can see air quality, tree pollen, wheat pollen and grass pollen. And in, in the side card, you can actually see all the data sets, basically pollutant details for air quality, pollen, uh, for the air quality. <coughs> And for Poland as well, also you can see the data, like uh, basically uh, the, the data, and you can also <coughs> see the historical data. Like if you want to see the historical data for last 48 hours, you can see that along with the forecast data, and you can see all this are uh, the fire clusters. So uh, for the entire world, you can see the fire cluster, like where all the fire active fires are happening. Uh, when we started building it, there were only one, two, three, four in Poland, across the world. And Poland is such an extremely important part of health and it's increasing because of climate change year by year. So Nitin here uh, uh, actually built, uh, worked with us on Poland. Uh, in What happened was, uh, uh, when we started looking at Poland, there was no single source of truth for understanding Poland data. Uh, and, and you know, when seasons change, we attribute our running nose or flu or, or influenza-like illnesses to uh, seasonal change but what's exactly happening is Poland is taking over, Poland is starting to affect us and that's when we started looking at uh, what can we do about understanding Poland, we had to model out. So uh, just a little side story on when we tried to build the Poland was as Maddie mentioned the data was pretty low for the entire state of India, it used to be one cop. We were shocked to see that results and that's when that was kind of an inspiration to get started with Poland. So tons of research, lots of EDAs and that's when we built out the model. A model. And similarly, we are trying to do that with IL as well. So right now ILI impacts almost 8% of the population and it's at its peaks in uh, especially winters uh, and a lot of people suffering. That's what we are aiming to solve as well with multiple tons of research I'll and building. And then once you have taken action, then you'd like to see have it, has it really fixed. Again, you will have to fall back on, on the parameters. That's where we come in as supplying this data. And then we also prepare companies uh, to understand how their actions are, uh, are affected. Not just, uh, you know, from clinical trials to marketing their products to building engagement with customers. Um, or a lot of their product metrics are kind of uh, correlated, not kind of very highly correlated with climate data that we provide. And hence, uh, we are able to drive data to not only help companies become to adapt to climate, but also become climate resilient and take responsible, take climate action. Thank you for being with us here today like and actually hosting us here at your center. And thanks for the work you're doing. No, thank you. Pleasure having you all. Thank you for dropping by and sharing our story to the world. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was Bharat Climate Startup Ambi from Bangalore, Karnataka. Keep following Bharat Climate Startup for more such stories. Because Bharat ka har startup hoga Bharat Climate Startup.